MicroPython is a rewrite of Python 3 to run efficiently and use very little memory, uh, and it can fit on a microcontroller. The Pi board is a powerful and compact electronics development board that runs MicroPython on the bare metal. MicroPython running on the Pi board is like having a Python operating system. Actually, Python in this case is the operating system. It has a small built-in file system, a command prompt, which is a Python prompt, and the ability to control the board peripherals using Python objects. Peripherals include GPIO, I2C, UART, SPI, PWM, ADC, DAC, timers, external interrupts, real-time clock, a random number generator, LEDs, and an accelerometer. So how do you use the Pi board? Well, you plug it in to your computer using USB, and it presents itself as a USB flash drive, as you can see here, as well as a serial device. And there are three main ways that you can use the Pi board. To communicate with the Pi board, you can use a serial communications program like PicoCom or Minicom or Screen or HyperTerminal on Windows. And you just connect to the board. And you can see here we have a Python prompt straight away. So this is Python running on the Pi board. So you can do things like 1 plus 1 as you'd expect and a half and a third. So there's floating point hardware um, on the board. There's big num, um, as you'd expect in a proper Python implementation, and it all works as expected. Uh, there's in even complex numbers. So you have also lists, of course, and dictionaries, uh, and all the standard Python types. Uh, to do a soft reset, to control D, uh, and then it reboots and it's back to normal. The Pi board has a built-in file system, so to see its contents we can import the OS module and do os.lister, so this is as you would do in normal Python, we can see that there are some files there in the, in the file system. We can put an SD card in, and do a soft reset to uh, initialize the SD card, and we can see that there are some files on the SD card here. We can also list the root directory. We see that there's the flash and, and the SD card available. So in the flash directory is what we had before. And in the SD directory uh, are the files on the SD card. We can make a, an object here, which is an LED object, uh, and, and toggle it on. Uh, and then we can toggle it off. We can also make a switch object and we can call the switch to get its value. So if I hold the switch down we can see that it's true and if I let go it's false. So using the REPL, the prompt, in this way is the quickest and easiest way to try out your ideas see if some code works uh, and play with the peripherals on the Pi board. The next way that you can use the Pi board if you want to go beyond the command prompt and start writing some scripts uh, is to edit, this, edit a script on your local computer so um, let's call it test.py import the PYB module first so that gives us access to a lot of the peripherals on the board um, and then say, just to begin with, let's turn the red LED on. Uh, and then save this file. And now to run this file, so this file here, test.py, is on my PC and I want to run it on the board. So I use this program called PyBoard. And when I give it test.py as an argument, it will run that test script that I just wrote on the board and you can see that the light turned on. We can also use the print statement to print out some text as you would in normal Python as well. So if I print hello world here, this is printing hello world on the Pi board and the data that it prints is returned to the computer. And you can see hello world is printed out here. 
so I can print many other things. Um, and you can see how easy it is to just change the script uh, and rerun it. So let's do something more interesting. Uh, so loop a hundred times and toggle the second LED and then wait say 50 milliseconds and then print done. So you can see the orange LED flashing on and off. It'll do that a hundred times and then it prints out done. So you can see how easy it is to write your script um, and then run it straight away on the board and see the results. Okay, let's try something else. So let's make a LED object and a switch object uh, and do a loop and turn the LED on if the switch is pressed. So if the switch LED on else LED off and then we'll delay a little bit in this loop so that it doesn't run too fast. Okay, so let's run the script. You can see then when I press the switch the LED turns on. Okay so let's try the third way of using the board. So if I reset um, when the board is plugged in it presents itself as a USB flash drive so you can see it's come up here and these are the files on the board. So let's copy a script to the board. So I've got this um, program here which uh, turns the LED on when you hold down the switch. And I can copy that to the board and then eject the disk. So now that the script is stored on the board, if we reset, then the script is now running. So if I hold down the switch, the light goes on and it goes on in a, a fade in and fade out way. Okay, I can also run things directly from an SD card. Using an SD card is a great way to make a, a pluggable program or system uh, for your Pi board. So here on this SD card I have a script that I wrote before um, and all of the all I have to do is just plug it in uh, and then reset and then this script here if I hold down the button it rolls the dice and uh, the lights eventually settle on a, a particular one. Uh, so I can also put this other SD card in that I have with a different program, reset, uh, and this one here, depending on the angle of the board, the LEDs will turn on. So it's using the inbuilt accelerometer to do this. With an SD card like this, you can have all of your data files, all of your scripts and your modules all ready to run straight away and you plug them into any Pi board and they'll run the same. Of course the board doesn't need to be connected to a computer to run so here let's put in a SD card with the script that we wrote before and then we'll connect a battery to it so I have uh, about 6 volts here okay so it's now running the script that we had. Um, if I hold down the switch, it will roll the dice. As you can see, the Pi board is a compact and powerful development board. You can easily write Python code uh, and run it directly using the prompt or copy a script across um, either on the file system or dynamically. And you can use it to control all of your electronics projects.